panel drawings are very, very different to schematic drawings in AutoCAD Electrical. So we're still in the Demo 05 project in the Project Manager. But what I've done is I've gone down to the Panel subfolder and I've opened up drawing Demo09.dwg. So make sure you're using the right drawing in the right subfolder in the right project for your working files. Now this particular panel drawing is very complex. And if I zoom in, what you'll notice is all different motors. Now all of these components like conveyor motors, hydraulic motors, indexing motors, because there's a database behind AutoCAD Electrical, you can link from one drawing to another. So these are the components on the actual panel, the physical panel that you're using for this electrical installation. So the wiring that goes behind this panel and links to these components is in another drawing. So the panel shows the layout of the components, the panel components, in the panel itself. So this is what you'd actually see fixed up on the wall with all of the wires coming into the back of it. If I now go up here and open up Demo 01 and zoom in here, there's the wiring coming in to our conveyor motor, hydraulic motor, indexing motor. So if I go back to 09, that's where they come in there. Okay, so that's how that works. You can see there's things like wiring ducts. And these are all put into a panel enclosure that is then inserted into a panel drawing. And you can see here, there's some close-ups of all the different connectors. So these are the connector blocks that are actually mounted up. And what you've got here is the names of all of them. So there's MCAB5TB1. Now MCAB5 was listed on those fuses that I looked at in a previous exercise. And these are all the connectors in cabinet 5. So if I just double click on the wheel and zoom extents there, good CAD practice to do so. That's where all the wiring is coming into the actual cabinet itself for the electrical installation. So that's why you have different types of drawings in AutoCAD Electrical. Normally, the easy distinguishing marks of each are a panel drawing has a panel enclosure. And if I go back to Demo 01 and just double click and zoom extents there, you can see you've got wiring going in and out. Now this one is showing the flow and interconnection diagram, the input output list. You can see that in the description there for this particular drawing in the project manager. If I went into something like Demo 02, you can see that it's the three phase motor control control circuit itself. So that is definitely a schematic drawing. The input output drawing, Demo 01, is subtly different because it's purely diagrammatic with a list of tables, but it is still classed as a schematic. You've still got tools there in here, for example, such as junction boxes and flow. So you're still showing schematics to demonstrate a circuit, but you're showing the input output rather than the actual schematic components. So there's lots of different drawing types and different ways of presenting your drawings in AutoCAD Electrical. The best thing to do is to utilize these subfolders in your project. Then you can distinguish one drawing from another and be a little bit more effective and a little bit more organized in AutoCAD Electrical.